Good morning, everybody. How are you? Welcome back to another video with Brooklyn. Babe, how are you this morning, this lovely wet Wednesday morning? Here in Winston-Salem, it is freezing outside to me. Yesterday, Tuesday, it was raining. Last night, it rained so bad. I mean, whoever was outside, I feel for them. Homeless people, animals, I feel for them. It was awful. So I want to come on here this morning. I'm not going to stay long. I've done, done this video two times this morning. First time, I was all off. I don't know what was going on. I had the wrong day, the wrong everything. Next time, my, cam my phone fell over into the sink. So I'm doing it the third time. Hopefully, the third time is a charm. So I want to come on here. I'm going to start off with showing you all what I wear with my white sweater. I have a white sweater on because it's cold outside. And I want to show you what I'm wearing. Nothing fancy smancy, but something comfortable because it's raining. And I do not feel like looking for any rain boots. So I'm going to wear a sneaker. So we're going to start off with my leggings. You all know I love leggings. And I'm talking fast because I'm running out of time. This is my legging. My legging has blue in it. It's a capri. Well, it stops over my, oh, right over my ankle. It's blue. Here's an orange in it. And then there's a white down to the bottom. Okay, that's only on one side. The other side is just black. Okay, that's it. So one leg has the multicolors, and the other side is just black. And I'm going to wear some Sam Elderman sneakers. I spent about $85 for these shoes, and they are really comfortable. They are good quality, suede in the back, leather, very nice sneaker. Sam Elderman. Okay, so I'm going to wear that with my sweater. Okay, and my leggings. So, I want to start off by saying, please, if you have not already, please do not forget to rate, share, and subscribe. And I want to say, Phil Donke, that's thank you very much in German. So, Phil Donke for watching me. And Phil Donke for rate, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for rating, sharing, and subscribing, not rate. Anyway... I want to start off by giving some wisdom this Wednesday morning. I'm not 90 years old, but I have a little wisdom, okay? Start moving in silence. I did a video or two on this before. Keep your dreams and your goals and your ambitions to yourself. Do not share everything with people because everyone is not for you. People are against you, okay? People are not wishing you well. They want to hear everything that you have planned and then they will take your idea and they will run with it. Or they will talk you down, talk you out of it. Okay? Move in silence. If it's a positive goal that you are trying to achieve, achieve it. Or get most halfway through it first before you start sharing. You know what I'm saying? Move in silence. You can't tell your right hand what your left hand is doing. You have to move in silence because people will take your ideas and they will run. People will take your life and run. Okay? So move in silence. Get wisdom. Get knowledge. Get understanding. And you don't have to tell everything. That doesn't mean you're an enemy. That doesn't mean you're a friend. You're not a friend. That doesn't mean that you are a bad uh, husband or wife or you're a bad child or anything. You just need to move in silence and keep your things to yourself because some people actually would think that they're helping you and they can talk you out of something that could be good for you or they can talk you into something that's not good for you. So it's good to move in silence. If you need advice, if you need a confirmation, you know, Ask God to help you, give you that information, that confirmation, or send you the right person that's going to be an honest person with their criticism or their, their encouragement. You know what I'm saying? But move in silence. Move in silence and try to follow peace with everyone. You know, I was walking around here angry at people and I was like, I'm not talking to her anymore and I'm not talking to her. But you know, that wears you down. If your enemy is close by and you can't avoid them and they want to engage in conversation, I'm not saying look them up, 
But if they come and they want to engage in just peaceful conversation, engage, but be wise. Be smart. Okay? Just like Satan could be cunning, you need to be cunning. Do not let them deceive you. You're being honest. You're engaging in honest conversation, but don't let them deceive you and get you back into their web. But just be peaceful. Try to follow peace and try to live and move in silence, okay? That's what I want to tell you all today with this word of wisdom. Move in silence and try to follow peace with everyone because right now we are in the same category. None of us are better than the other. This disease that's out here is striking everyone. It don't care what color you are, what race, what creed, what nationality you are. People are losing jobs. People are losing loved ones. People are being evicted. Okay? We are in the same boat. So if you are amongst the living, be thankful and get some wisdom. Use this time to use wisdom. You know, save money. Don't start spinning up your money and be in court. Just, everybody's not getting benefits. Everybody is not working. People have not still gotten their stimulus check. People have not got unemployment benefits. Okay? But God, by the grace of God, he's still taking care of everyone. So, with that being said, please be smart. That even goes for your relationships. Don't incorporate everybody into your relationships. If you are above age, you can make decisions on your life on your own. Incorporate God only. Everybody might not agree with what you're doing, who you're dating, who you're seeing, who you're marrying, who you're sleeping with. People may, are not going to agree. That's why you need to keep it to yourself and let God deal with that situation. Whatever it is, move in silence. Keep your business to yourself. Don't share everything. Everyone is not happy for you. And they may think they're helping you. Some people genuinely may think that they are helping you and it's hurting you. And some people go out to sabotage you. Okay? And just move in silence. That's all I can say. That came to me this morning and it's for me to keep my big old trap closed and do what I'm going to do and move in silence. Not that I have much going on, but if I come up with an idea, I need to move in silence. I have a coworker who's trying to get a business started and he's been looking for help for people that's in the same business that he's trying to get started. And they are giving him the runaround because once people get successful, a lot of times they don't want you to become successful. They want to be the only one in the business. It's like that on YouTube. They start out like little YouTubers like me. And once they get to be big YouTubers, they won't even answer your comments. They won't even talk to you. They, want, they don't want to help you. That's selfishness. So move in silence and when you become successful, help others. Okay. Because you were small once, so help others when you become large, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to say choose. That's what? That's buying German. I love you all. You all have a wonderful Wednesday.